Hi guys, and welcome to Vixie Pros and Knit Podcast, episode 52. I'm Sibylla, coming to you, not from England. More to that in a minute. Uh, welcome and welcome back um, to new and returning viewers. This is a crafty podcast where I talk about knitting and crocheting and other crafty stuff I get into and as well as just life things that happen around our mixed family life. Um, the or mixed is the wrong word. International family life, right? Because we are an international family. Um... Yes, so as always, everything I'll talk about will be linked down below in the description box. And um, you can follow me on Instagram, which is Pixie Pearls and Knits on Instagram. I'm most active there, um, as per usual. Right, so as you can see, kind of by the background, this is not my usual location. I'm currently in Michigan with my family in law. I mentioned that things were going to change a little bit temporarily. This is because I finally. Um, Back in November, we um, had our my green card interview, and I was approved for a green card, so I had to enter the U.S. within six months, which was a hassle during COVID, trust me, and right after moving, like, my deadline was in May, and I had to come here, and I came here with a week to spare, which was tight, but that's just the way it went. Um, yes. So, in Michigan, I can tell you more later. I will briefly catch on to that a little more. When, um, when we come to life stuff. Because first we'll talk about all the crafty goodness I've been up to. I don't have any finished objects. At least not any with me. Uh, because, um, yeah, I didn't bring anything with me. Plus, I don't think I've finished anything since the last podcast episode. Because, busy. Right? But, let me show you what I've been working on and what I brought with me to the States. So, first off, a pair of socks. Which is kind of like my go-to project in the car. Uh, right now, and, um, it's Philly Chi. Unknown colorway, I don't know what it is, because I don't have the label, so if you would happen to know what this is, please, let me know in the comments below, or send me a message on Instagram. Whatever, right? Whatever works. So, pair of socks. This one is about halfway done to now. This is sock number two, and this is sock number one. So it's these beautiful purples, yellows, and blues. As the colors, like I said, I have no clue the colorway name. I know it's a fleecy yarn. That's all I can tell you. And um, I um, finished the heel yesterday and knitted a little bit on the sock. As there's a fish lips kiss heel and I do 20 rows of ribbing. It's my like throwing the purse, leaving the car kind of project because it's like a small project. And my in-laws live kind of out in the country. And going to the next place is at least like a bigger store, right? You know, going to bigger stores where anything is at least a 15 to 30 minute drive. So there's always plenty of knitting time around when you're getting into the car. Um, the bag it is in is a bag from Stitching Plaza. This is cute little vintage kitchen stuff on it. Drawstring bag. Next up, that's my pair of socks. Next up, in this big bag, which is um, from Yarn Crush, but it's just a tote bag, though. Nothing special about it. It came in one of my Yarn Crush subscription boxes. It is a cozy classic Raglan by Jessie May. I have not worked on that since I left England. I did pull it out of the bag and out of my suitcase and noticed I had a bunch of drop stitches and it was super tangled, even though I packed it away carefully. But I guess being thrown around in the suitcase was not what this project liked. So, I am um, still at the... So I did neck and the short rows for the back and the shoulder... Sh uh, the back, sh the shaping, and I'm now at the increases. Right? I just started those, um, so there's not a lot. What I did do... I don't know why, because I've knitted this pattern before, is you join this in a round when you start. And I somehow didn't read that. Don't know why. Like I said, I've knitted this before, I should have known. And I didn't join it. So I noticed when I got to the increases that something wasn't right after the shoulder shaping. So I read the pattern. I had to read the pattern three times to find. Don't know why. ADHD brain. Um to um 
to find that I should have joined this in the round. Uh, luckily, I was just, uh, the only thing not joined was the neck ribbing. So I just mattressed that together, and you can't even tell. For my um, bind of marker, I have a cute little corner of craft stitch marker, and then I have these um, feathery, leafy kind of markers on here as well that I got from a partner la two years ago. Yes, because it was from before COVID. The last five-ish year round from before COVID. Uh, I think she made them herself. They're kind of cute, right? So yeah, the yarn I'm using is Geektastic Fibers in the Grimoire colorway. Now let me see if I can get... This is tangly. This is super tangly. It's Mohair and Slub in this beautiful gray Grimoire colorway. So this is the Slub yarn. It's got this silverish hue to it, and I really like that. And this is the mohair yarn. And it's super squishy. They're super squishy and soft. Uh, Geek plastic fibers. I mean, there has like just a knack for just having wonderfully soft yarns. Um, I don't know if it's the way she treats them, or if it's just the kind she where she gets them from. They're always super squishy, super soft. It's wonderful. Um. Yes, so I will have to untangle all of this when I'm done with the recording. But that has time for now. I'm just going to put a bag in this bag because that's the only thing. I can't see, see this. You see this? this? I hate this. I hate when this happens. Because I can't even shove the bag in the back now. Anyway. Okay. Then the last project I brought with me is in here. This super cute money bag it says support wild life not wildlife as in like animals but wild like crazy life raise boys which is made by my friend um amber she has a little etsy shop it's called house folk oh, I, I might mispronounce that sorry <laughs> uh anyhow uh, they have a little shop on instagram and um i think etsy uh i will link it uh, she made this cute little bag for me as a gift for Christmas. And I saw this and I laughed out loud because that's just how my life is crazy and wild because I have boys. And in this pride bag is another project. And this is the Fluff Nugget Cardigan by Soprano Knits. And this is my very first brioche project ever. So I'm making the stripey because I don't have enough of one color to make the cardigan in the size I need. So I just decided to make it stripey. And I think it's kind of looking cute. And coming along quite nicely. Right? This is Knit Picks um, Simple Alpaca. And it's so soft. It's 100% undyed alpaca yarn. Uh, and like I said, it's so soft. And the brioche this just makes it so much more squishy. Um, yeah, so I've been working a little bit on this since I've gotten here. This is kind of like my fun little project when I um I have a little bit of time because with these two crazy boys of mine, it's not always easy. So that's my third work in progress. We will see. I'm trying to finish them all before I leave. Might be. At least the bulky ones because it's hard to fit a bulky squishy bag into a suitcase. It takes a lot of space up. And I think now we're getting interrupted. Hi, bud. Hi, guys. I'm back. Sorry there was a little interruption. Uh -huh. Someone wants to juice. <laughs> the kids are outside playing with their grandma right now. So, um, there was a request for juice that I happily fulfilled. Anyway, we're just stop. Yes. So, those are my projects I took with me. I'm hoping to finish at least one of the big ones. Maybe two because they're, like I said, they're so bulky. Because the one I had to wind my yarn before I got here. Um because I'm not bringing a yarn winder and a swift with me. I was like a lot of bulk in the suitcase. Anyway. So, live stuff. Uh, let's jump into that because that's the last thing I have to tell you about. Um, yeah, so I'm in Michigan with my in-laws right now um, for an undetermined amount of time until I can get my physical green card, my social security card number, and my driver's license for Michigan. So I have a Michigan ID as well. 
Without a driver's license. I need a driver's license. I've been without a driver's license for way too long. Um, and it's, um, I need one now with children. It's just better to have it. Anyway, so that's why I'm in Michigan. Um, I also got my second COVID vaccine while I'm here, so now I'm fully vaccinated and I am a little less worried about traveling. Um, yes. When we traveled, it was actually not that bad of a trip. You had to fill out a bunch of extra paperwork. Uh, you know, you had to get a PCR test. The kids had to get a PCR test before we left, which let me tell you, giving the kids a COVID test is not nice. They hate it when you shove something up their nose. <laughs> Um, but we were all tested, um, before we left. And then, um, like I said, I already had received my first COVID vaccine on my way before I got to the Michigan and my second one when I was here. When I'm here now, I got that last week. So I'm basically fully, like, it's another week till be officially fully vaccinated. Um, but yes, I'm still wearing masks when we go anywhere. Uh, just because... And I will continue to probably wear a mask if I go into stores. Um, I just... It feels right to do so, in case you're wondering. Yeah, so now I'll have to wait on all my paperwork, which is fun. Waiting on paperwork. But in all in all, the trip was nice. It was very empty flight. Um, so, boarding and getting off the plane was quick. It was easy. You know, um... The people around me, like all the flight attendants over there, are so kind and so helpful. And the children slept through the first half the long leg of the flight, which was nice, because uh, that just gave me a bit of a rest. I did not bring any knitting with me this time. I was like, flying by myself, two children, I don't know if they will sleep or not. I'm not going to take any knitting with me on the plane. It's just all going in the suitcase. I'd rather not have it take up space in my carry-on bag and then not even get to it and then be frustrated about it in the end. No, thank you didn't want that and then I would have had time for it but that's fine anyway so yeah um we've, uh, we've had a bit of like I got my second COVID vaccine right after we got here because I was due for it my mother-in-law was able to arrange up um a vaccination for me right after I got here so jet lag and COVID vaccine shot number two had me knocked out for like a solid day straight and I'm so thankful I have wonderful in-laws and they were just taking care of their grandbabies and I didn't have to worry about a thing, which was good. Uh, the weather here is really nice. We've been outside a lot with the kids. Um, my in-laws have a big property with like a huge yard and I mean acres, like, like lots. It's endless. So it's nice. The kids can just run outside, run outside all day long. No problem. No issue, you know, they come inside, they eat a snack, and they go back outside. They're so tired in the evening, they fall asleep so easily, it's wonderful, they get so dirty. <laughs> but that's good too. Um, we did go on a little day trip, um, just like an hour and a half away from here. They had a little thing called Dino Stroll, where they, um, you know, kind of like, you know, like how they have the animated um, dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. It was very similar to that. Um, it was a, like, a COVID-friendly event, so they had time slots when you went in, um, and then you had to wear masks and social distance, but it was really fun. The kids loved it. Flora was actually a little scared of the dinosaurs, especially the big ones, like the T-Rex and stuff, but Luke was freaking out. He had so much fun. It was great. I did upload a reel on Instagram with some of the pictures of it, in case you're interested in That's on my profile. And yeah, so this is kind of how it's going to go here. I'm just going to stay at my in-laws, do study for my driver's license, um, let my kids be wild or run around outside all day, as long as weather is permitting, obviously. Um, well, probably going to do a few things like go into the zoo and stuff um, as we're here and see some family since we're not close to my in-laws. Um, at least this long time in the U.S. that is undetermined for me yet. Um, we'll give the children plenty of time to play with all their uncles, aunts, cousins, great uncles, and grandparents, great grandparents, and so on. That that will be really nice for them to spend a massive amount of time with them. They don't always get that. So, yeah. 
if you're interested, um, like I said, follow me on Instagram because that's where most of my updates will be for like things that, that we're doing in Michigan. And um, yeah, if you like my videos, like and subscribe, leave me a comment, you know what, how the drill goes on these YouTube videos. And I will tune in with you guys again in about hopefully two weeks. So bye!